Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 53 and we've truly hit the winter months. The snow is pretty thick on the ground. We have been through our sort of winter month process in earlier episodes so we're going to skip through the next couple of months quite quickly. Just go through the basics. But, um, the first thing of course we need to do is clear some snow, <laughs> make some sort of working tracks for us around the farm. Uh, there's not much to do in, in the way of um, arable work, everything is under a blanket of snow. So it's basically going to be keep the tracks clear of snow, collect any of our product that is ready for market which is, which is going to be a job in itself um, and yeah make sure the animals are fed that's pretty much it so we'll get the trusty old John Deere still one of our original pieces of equipment I think one of the few pieces of original equipment that, uh, that we picked up with when we bought the farm we have had some tentative offers for buying the farm. Um, I have to be up front and say that we are considering some of them. But uh, we'll let you know those in the next little while. Get the old snow blow out. Two months a year, this little blower works overtime. The rest of the time it snoozes. <laughs> That's the way with it. That's the way it is with a lot of equipment on the farm. It has a manic period of time where it just really gets used and um, and then uh, yeah nothing. But you need it. We certainly need it in this area. We didn't have much snow in in December. It was snowing, but it wasn't sort of settling on the ground. But January has just been for January, sometimes into March, but certainly January and February, we will need to be clearing. So we we're not going to show every month. I'm just going to run through pretty much what we do in the winter months. So. There will be a bit of skipping around as such. It's just because there's nothing really happening. We get we get through our daily routine, and that's pretty much it. You know, um, you can see I've made quite a few little tracks all around the place. I'm sure, I've missed roots. We'd really have to venture over the over the snow, but yeah, it's pretty much all there. I'll just keep this on the uh, on the tractor for now and uh, get going with a bit of daily routine. Go and collect some product that we've made and get it sold. The first thing that I want to do is I want to replace the old uh, little John Deere. And I'm replacing it with a slightly bigger John Deere. Bit more oomph, bit more horsepower the gator. Um, we have been doing quite well. The, the little one has done fine but it's really been struggling around the yard. This one at least um, has got a bit of power. I like the look of it and it's modular so you can um, add on different attachments on the back of it although I doubt whether we will use that um, on the size of farm that we have. Let's probably just put a little flatbed on the back or a little bit of carrying capacity. We can hit 50 miles an hour so we can use it for longer trips. I think the other little John Deere was 20 miles an hour and was really struggling. We'll put a bit of weight on the front of this as well um, because it will be pulling the tractor and uh, the, the trailer around the farm. Put a bit of a hood on it because it's just that time of year really. <laughs> Don't get too much snow in it. 
It's got no doors, but um, yeah. I have used it a couple of times um, since it's been out. The Gator, I do like it. I find it to be very versatile. I think if you watch my um, um, it was uh, earlier my city farm. I think I started off with Gator with a couple of uh, attachments to it and it worked pretty well. Put some lights on it so that people know where we are. We're driving around the farm. Colors I'm going to leave at standard John Deere. Wheel brand. Yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. There we go. It's going to set us back 16,000, but we'll get close to that. We'll get about 13,000 back for the for the other John Deere, for the other little run around. So it's not too much of an outlay, really. But of course, we do have to buy the the trailer as such. Yeah, we get 13,000 back, so... Yeah, quite good. There we go. A new little farm run around. I love it. Yeah, we are, I mean, our equipment is starting to look pretty good. Well, our, our equipment looks very good. Um, testament to the, the success of the farm. This just kind of adds on to it. It'll also be our little run around. We don't have, I don't have my own little run around. <laughs> um, tend to go shopping in the tractors <laughs> or the milk or the milk lorry. <laughs> All right, so we can go through our normal daily routine, pick up stuff, deliver it to the to the productions, see how much money we make. mists of snow we're getting lemons getting citrus fruit the joys of greenhouses <laughs> uh, that's a good good return we have um, struggled a little bit with the um, with the chickens I don't know whether I've mentioned it in one of the others but um, when the snow gets too thick um, we struggle to feed the chickens it's going to be touch and go whether we make the whole winter before we run out of feed for the chickens not much I can do about that now I should have remembered but uh, um, yeah I don't think we'll um, run out of eggs I don't think we'll lose any chickens but there might be in my estimation there might be the end of February we might run out in the night going from February to March but hopefully in March the snow is cleared and we can um, we can feed them again in the meantime we'll get the citrus fruit to the juicing factory get that fully stocked I don't think we've got yeah 23 out of 24 I saw a little gap in there <laughs> yeah, I do like the this um, uh, auto load trailer but um, yeah it can be a little bit temperamental at times well it's probably operator created in fact most of the time it is oper operator created <laughs> but yeah but it does it, it does a, a sterling job particularly around the operation that I have it takes a decent load it's easily pulled by the small gator type uh, farm runarounds and uh, yeah I mean we have to do quite a few little trips but most of our stuff is delivered in a fairly centralized area albeit two centralized areas one on the farm and one in the town but we haven't had to do well since the first couple of episodes a lot of um, the long run into town more than once in a in a month so yeah, it's worked out pretty well. 
go and get this sold at the farm shop. Start bringing in some money. We've also got to start looking to repay our loans. Hopefully, by the end of this month, we'll be able to repay one of the three loans that we do have. Start bringing that down. See how much we make here. There's a certain magic about the countryside covered in snow. Uh, we haven't hit the full uh, trigger area. Well, we haven't hit the trigger area fully, so <laughs> yeah, too. Uh, it's not too bad. This is going to climb reasonably. We, we still got the sort of money earners, oh, and you'll you'll see there. I'm just bringing in some of the uh, potato chips. I think it is. Um, we ran out of water in the uh, in the potato factory, um, and also we ran out of um, canola. Oh, we ran out of oil. So we've run out of oil in the so these are things that you don't that I have missed. It's another bit of a mistake. We've run out of um, of uh, product to produce oil, so I'm going to go and have to buy from the international market some canola, um, and we'll put it into the bin near the, um, near the oil. The oil factory in the town area um, which is actually the storage area at the station which is pretty convenient for you but we'll we'll get about 200,000 so it's going to hit our our plans to be, to make uh, repayments <laughs> quite substantially we get 200,000 there's only we're buying up most of the world stock <laughs> only going to be left with 81,000 so it's still just over a quarter of a mil to buy but we'll get it and that should keep us going hopefully oh we might, we might have overbought there because we've got we've got big canola fields to come in and uh, but it's probably still four or five months away so yeah maybe maybe not such a bad idea Clear the milk. Still got quite a bit of milk in the in the dairy. Trust the old chickens are still producing fantastically. I think we're getting about eleven or ten or eleven thousand eggs a month it's bringing in quite a bit of income on its own let alone supplying the mayonnaise factory which brings in a huge amount which has probably been our, our money spinner for this um, for this farm it's the mayonnaise but um, yeah I although it wasn't something that I, I don't like to just put up lots of money making factories well money spinning factories if you want to call them those just because they make a lot of money um, if it would if it's not something that you would have a lot of uh, if you understand what I mean so you know I don't think you would the this sort of area would warrant more than one mayonnaise factory so I do like to kind of keep it real although it is tempting to uh, to put up loads and loads, <laughs> just have a whole field of mayonnaise factories and supply them with eggs would would make a fortune. Actually, I should think about that once. Just a really short series, maybe before FS25 is just a um, a little series of um, 
this is the way it shouldn't be played type thing. You know, well, in my opinion, of course, you can play the game however one wants. One wants to. Right, just show you quickly the process with the canola that we bought. So, as I said, it's in the railway, railway station storage. It was put there when, when it was delivered and we, um, we're just going to transfer it to our oil factory and that will start resupplying the mayonnaise factory and the potato chip factory keep those productions going away the potato chip factory of course is also a bit of a money spell it's not quite as quite as lucrative as the as the mayonnaise but um, yeah the, the, the volume is slightly higher so it'll be interesting interesting to see how that pans out which is which is more productive there's, there's an idea for another series or another little maybe not a series but another another video as such put it on the scales just a little bit of immersiveness there things must during the snow months when you not, it's not boring because it's quite interesting because you can skip through the months quite quickly so you can get to the fun stuff of making money in the winter time uh, especially if you've got your production set up nicely and uh, they are fully stocked and you're not running out of produce like I was but if you catch it in time you know those things will happen there yeah. and I don't mind it too much because you know you would have natural factory breakdowns and all those type of stuff which is not quite simulated yet so why the average just pop out to the bank right so we've got a little bit of money what can we pay off so I think if we pay off the we owe 203,000 on the first one I think we'll pay that off and that's the start of us becoming non-dependent on the bank so we had uh, 1.1 million in loans at the moment we still owe 950,000 but that's going to drop down there I've been daring and I've paid the slightly bigger amount make the special payment and there we go all of a sudden we're down to just over 700,000 700, Looking good, looking good. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.